High-risk investing in retirement can be a big mistake. Why? Well, relying exclusively on the stock market and its returns can be too risky for many retirees. Here's a reality check. It's hard to argue with the long-term performance of the stock market, but, and it's a big but, the long-term we're talking about might not match up with your retirement and your investing window. This is one of the biggest challenges for people to understand. For example, if the stock market, take whichever index you want, but just say that it's averaged 10% over the last 50 years. Well, that's a lot of ups and downs. That may include some years where it was up 20, and then the next year it's down 10 you know, and maybe zeros. So we're talking about average. So an average of 10% per year is not the same as getting 10% per year. So to rely on the stock market for our income and that it's going to sustain what we draw by virtue of these nice and pretty annual average returns, well, they're called average returns for a reason. They're not predictable, they're not necessarily consistent, and we've seen this many times over in the last two decades where we had a strong market period followed by a downturn. Now, if I say, well, don't put all the money in the stock market in retirement, what else do you do? Well, there are a lot of choices, and here's just a simple example. We talk about diversifying and not having all of our eggs in one basket in the stock market. We might put money in bonds, CDs, cash is always good, fixed annuities, other things that are more conservative, and keep some money in stocks. The takeaway is this. Downshift your risk as you approach retirement and build a plan for your needs. Maybe not necessarily what you want, but what you need. We all want growth. We all want endless growth, right? But at some point, you have to get off the ride, or at least partially off the ride. You don't want to have all the money you're relying on for income in the stock market. Do that, and you'll plan stronger. If you would like more information about the topics and our guests featured in this series, please visit our website at planstrongertv.com. Also, if you have a question you would like David to answer, please send it to questions at planstrongertv.com.